the TV that you watch during leisure, the lights that illuminate your room, and the computer you are watching this video on all require energy to work. Now, energy can be in the form of electrical energy or chemical energy in the form of batteries. Now, similarly, plants require energy to perform various functions. Coal is the primary source of electricity. Similarly, in plant cells, glucose is the primary source of energy. Now, for coal to produce electricity, first it needs to be broken down in the coal mines and the breakdown of coal is done manually by labors and also through machines in a multi-step process. Similarly, in plant cells, glucose is broken down in the cytoplasm. Now, this process of breaking down of glucose or glucose lysis is known as glycolysis, where glyco comes from the word glucose and lysis means breakdown. So, just like coal is broken down in a multi-step process manually as well as with the aid of machineries. Similarly, glucose is broken down in a multi-step process aided by enzymes which are biocatalysts and I'm sure you studied in chemistry about catalysts which accelerates the reaction but itself does not get altered chemically. So these enzymes help the breakdown of glucose into pyruvic acid. Now glucose is a six carbon compound. See, this is the chemical structure of glucose. These black bead-like structures that you can see are the carbon atoms. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six carbon atoms. Now during glycolysis, when glucose is broken down into pyruvic acid, see, the six carbon glucose is broken down into two molecules of three carbon pyruvate. So pyruvate is a three carbon compound. So during glycolysis, glucose is broken down into two molecules of pyruvate and a small amount of energy is released during this entire process. Now after the breaking down of coal, coal is supplied to the powerhouses for energy generation. Similarly, after breakdown of glucose in the cytoplasm during glycolysis, this broken down glucose is sent to the mitochondria of the cells, which is known as the powerhouse of the cell. Now see what is happening. Glucose is breaking down in the cytoplasm and then it is entering the mitochondria. Now after entering the mitochondria, let us see what happens. So glucose gets broken down into pyruvic acid in the cytoplasm and then pyruvic acid along with oxygen forms carbon dioxide, water, and energy in the form of ATP. So like glycolysis, even this process is a multi-step pathway. And every step is aided by enzymes which are biocatalysts. So in this process, pyruvate is broken down into carbon dioxide, water and energy which is formed in huge amounts in this step. 
this multi step process by which pyruvate breaks down to form a huge amount of energy was discovered by this scientist known as hans krebs and so this multi step pathway is known as the krebs cycle so this process by which glucose forms a large amount of energy in a two step process first glycolysis in the cytoplasm and then krebs cycle in the mitochondria is known as respiration this is the complete equation of respiration see this is glucose its formula is c6 h12 o6 glucose together with oxygen six molecules of oxygen forms six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of water and large amounts of energy 